Hey guys, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone. We are off to a guide for your logistics. But before that, I'd like to ask you guys that if this video is helpful to you, please put a like to it. And also, if you want to support the channel, please do subscribe because this really helps my channel a lot. So moving on to the guide itself, we'll start off with the uh, farming for your logistics so you will be able to farm them here in operation and obtain logistics officers okay once you reach this page make sure that you set this one up because as you begin uh farming these stages the level here will increase okay on the selection first so might as well give you guys some tips on what I think are the best ones here as a squad to use. Number one is Dharma Squad. This one I'm already using now with Yao 5 stars. So this pertains to Ballistic Damage and Standard Skill. I won't go into the details of this. You can actually review all of the squads here in the selection but i'm going to just hand pick a few that i'm recommending so this is dharma squad next up um this one if you want to focus on healing for an auxiliary unit then you go with this one this one is active skill damage which is pertaining to your passive skill so again and also has a standard skill ultimate skill and support skill kind of a component um, that is Thebes squad by the way so next up is if you want to improve on your ultimate skill this is it next one this one is for ballistics damage this one is also a very good one so ballistics damage increased ballistics damage is actually guys the damage of your gun whether it be any type so there are two types. I'll explain later what are the types of uh, skills because this there are a lot of terms to be used here. So ballistic damage is, is the damage of your gun without the elemental damage. By the way, this one is for your ultimate energy. This is for ultimate energy uh, recovery. Um, and uh, this one, not sure about the shield component yet. But... There are a few here are good. Uh, this one, this one is good. This one and this one. Dharma, Thieves, Amano, Iwatsu, and Sinia Squad is good. So please select what you want to use here. So right now, I need this one. So I'm going to be selecting this, then exiting it. So basically, they're down there. They're being set. So as you summon here, the bar here progresses up to 100 once it reaches 100 it gives you the first one then it resets again to zero then once you reach to 100 again then it gives you the second one and so on and so forth so zero the last one will be given to you so all three will be given to you as long as you keep on farming for this um this content so again without with with that out of the way now you can farm for um your orange tier uh logistics so going to the stages so the first one obviously is going to be easy this will yield you only up to your purple rarities as you can see here this is going to happen up until normal by the time you reach hard stage you can already um let's see where are the orange ones this is hard Okay, let's uh, move towards the... Oh, there it is. So you have your your orange rarities here. So no orange rarities up to normal. Once you reach hard, orange rarities will be available for you. But these are, take note guys, not guaranteed. Okay, the, the drop rate for the hard um, stage is actually low for for orange so there will be you know there are times that you won't be getting any orange rarity for hard you but you'll all but you'll be guaranteed a purple rarity for hard so with farming out of the way we will go back to your operative here 
and let's focus on logistics for life. So we will talk about life. Life is again my primary. Uh, what do you call this? My primary hero, character, whatever you may call her, shooter. She is in the middle, both on the side. I have um, I have uh, Akasha, Kaguya, and I have Yao here, five stars. So we'll focus on life. First is the set activation for the logistics. So you have here your set activation. For you to activate your set, acti uh, for you to activate your set, you have to have the same squad equipped. So first, this one is Argo squad. This uh, there's a there's a shortcut here on on the left side. So Argo squad one, two, three. Then your set gets activated here. Then there you go. Take note, guys. Ballistic damage again is is your gun damage. This one, the second one, just want to explain this. There is, There are elemental damages, but they are tied to your ballistic damage. So this is additional ballistic damage, but it will be tied to the element of your gun. Take note of that. So again, please read the, read the print carefully of your logistics. Please understand them. We'll go through some of the types of uh, buffs that you'll be receiving from your logistics. But before that, let's view the details here. You have your defense. These are the bonuses that I'm getting right now for my logistics. So again, these are um, very, very nice buffs. So including this, you can actually customize your talent by switching to another to switching to an, to the same um, the same logistic, but with a different talent. Um, I'll show you what I mean here. So let us go here. So this is actually what I have equipped with life. This is what I have equipped with uh, free shop. So as you can see, the set bonuses are the same, but the talent is going to be different. I would highly encourage you guys to to play with what you have right now and because it's really hard to farm these logistics so play with what you have you can actually do the sorting out and equipping the best talent to your to your to your character once probably you moved a couple of weeks or months for the game again it's really hard to farm um the the the, the complete set some of the players are are using mixed sets so the squad bonuses aren't activated so that is a problem again the talent is random as you can see here so equip more or less if you have multiple copies you can select the best talent suited for your hero or character but definitely if you don't have any what do you call this any liberty of selecting then use what you have currently Okay, so let's go over the bonuses, typical bonuses that you might be able to receive. So again, I'll just be repeating. I'll be defining some of these bonuses. Ballistic damage is your is your gun damage without the elemental damage. This one, the ballistic damage here. This pertains to um, this pertains to thermal. So aside from the your basic bullet damage, you have elemental damage for your ballistic. So added on to your bullet. So but that is ballistic damage. So this is your elemental type damage. But there are elemental type damages tied to some of the logistics that give bonuses to your skills. We'll, we'll, we'll take a look at that in a while. So again, as you can see here, standard skill damage, standard skill damage, ballistic damage. This one is ultimate skill damage. So as you can see, there are bonuses for, for your ultimate skill. This one, you have uh, bonuses for your active skill. So active skill, again, is the fourth skill. Just want to point this out so that uh, you guys won't, you know, won't have a problem distinguishing where they are. That's not it. So if you click on this, this is your active skill. It's th it doesn't have a shortcut on the previous page, but this is your standard support and ultimate skill. This is your active skill. I wonder why they haven't literally uh, defined this, but there are no other skills present here. So I'm assuming that this is your active skill slash passive skill. Okay, going back to the logistics portion of uh, this. So where were we? 
Okay, so now we have here, again, kinetic damage. Kinetic and chaos is still elemental damage. So take note of that. This one pertains to HP buffs for logistics. And this one is, again, ballistic damage. This one increases kinetic and chaos type ballistic damage. So this also adds to your bullet. Uh, what else? I have an example here. I... I was able to okay this one this one is active skill damage increases kinetic and chaos damage so this pertains to any chaos damage it applies to ballistic it applies to your skills as well so again if it doesn't specify that it's ballistic it applies everywhere okay that is the good part about this uh, buff down here so in other words kinetic and uh, chaos is kind of i think slightly above the other elements so if you want to equip your you know your heroes or characters with uh, with kinetic or chaos damage they have a wider buff compared they, they have i'm gonna say wider but they have a more globalized effect than the other elemental types Okay, so moving on so again, this is HP, this is ballistic damage, this is uh, elemental tied to your ballistic damage, kinetic and chaos. Uh, this is uh, your ultimate energy recharge, as you can see there. This is... Um, Increased thermal frost and electric type skill damage. So this one, this uh, elemental th elemental type damage, this is tied to a skill. So a uh, type of skill damage. So this is basically any skill. And But the first one is active skill. So again, elemental type damage tied to skills. Okay. So increased thermal and frost and elect electrical type of skill damage so any type of skill any of the four you have your support you have your primary and then you have your ultimate then you have your active skill so again it um so not primary standard skill okay so there you go for um for for all of the types of buffs that you can receive again select which is applicable um there it, i would say that in in this exam there is no and right answer it really depends on how you're going to be building your unit it's really up to you what are you happy with you go with that of course okay so we'll we'll have an upgrade here let's do an upgrade so i haven't upgraded kaguya here so for upgrading so for her she is using blacksmith squad so increase active skill which is actually very very nice for her because she throws um uh what they call it she has the hover um skill and uh, it has to have a lot of damage plus it stacks three times um this will benefit from it then the three officers increase thermal frost and electric type of damage for the skill this one applies to all her skill and you could use this applies to her support skill which i'm using right now which is very nice too so let's have um let's train this one so if you want to train um i would suggest you use most of your blues because in the end you won't be prioritizing blues you'll be focusing more on using purple and orange um especially now that we're beginning um we're just we just started the game it's purples most of the time up until you could complete the set for your um for your orange so let's try to just upgrade this to three each so there you go so unlock let's do a five so okay so that's five let's do an upgrade as well for this one let's do fives one two three four five okay so again increase in stats here are very very nice to have um let's do with uh, the last one 
So train. These are hard to find, guys. These are hard to farm. So please upgrade your um, your logistics wisely because it's going to be a problem if you run out of those. And also save up for um, your orange rarities because you will be needing them eventually. So let's go to... Before we end, guys, I'd like to go through some important details here. There is a recommended, as you click um, operatives, as you click view details, on the recommended tab, there are recommended logistics here as well as weapons. So if you are finding a hard time um, to match or um, if you can't decide on a specific, uh, uh, what do you call this, on a specific... Uh, logistic to give to to your character you can actually use this the recommendation but again it would be it, it would vary depending on how you use the character or what is your ideal build these are just recommendations a guide on how you're going to tackle it so that is it guys this has been a quite quite a long um logistics guide but these are all the things that you need to know. So hopefully I could get some comments in the comment section. Again, if you find this guide um, helpful, please put a like to this video. And also, if you if you are you know if you want to subs uh, to support the channel, please do subscribe to my channel because it helps the channel a lot. So thank you very much, guys, for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is the Warden, and I'm out of here.